man. You gotta love those Southern California sunsets. What's up guys? Jason, it's Tattooed Car Culture. Appreciate you stopping back by the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today we're gonna go visit my buddy Jake. I've known him for a few years now, but he's just taken his build to a whole nother level. As you saw in the intro, if that didn't catch your attention, then maybe this video is not for you. I'm just kidding, of course this video is for you. If you guys like modern muscle, if you guys like dodges, if you guys like horsepower, then this video is for you.
All right guys, Jason here and we are here with Jake who's the owner of this beautiful Challenger. It's not your everyday Challenger, this thing is a behemoth and we'll show you here in a minute. But Jake, why don't you tell us about your car? Sure, it's a 2014 uh, RT Shaker. It has a 5.7 liter uh, Hemi engine in it. And uh, as you can see, it is a true shaker, but if you know anything about the shakers on the hood here, you notice that there's something a little different here. This was a two piece unit. We molded it together. And again, this is still in construction, but uh, stay tuned. It's gonna turn out pretty cool when we're done. So on the exterior of the car, we have the header orange here in the front, MFR Engineering. You can find them on Instagram, Mike and Richard and the team out there. They do incredible work. So this is a one-off front end. We had to take an aftermarket front end and modify it. This thing was cut into pieces, put back together, and it's still a work in progress, but we're gonna get there. It's almost where we need it. So he's done the entire front end here, uh, including the aero kit um, and the actual front end itself. As we come back through the car, again, uh, we picked up from MFR a set of these really beautiful HRE wheels. Uh, these things in their kind of root beer color match perfectly with the orange, and I'm really happy with how that turned out. So of course we uh, went to our friends at Inland Wraps uh, called Doug Up. You can look them up, they're on Instagram too. Um, he did, they're upside down right here, but we had custom center caps made for the wheels. And also uh, we have this really, really cool bright blue reflective vinyl wrap on those calipers and they do some really crazy stuff in the sun. Of course we have the side skirts coming around to the back. Uh, car's lowered a little bit. We've got the iBot kit on it, around to the rear diffuser. One of the things that I really like about this car, as soon as I saw the new red eye come out, I had to put that red eye spoiler here on my car. So Jake, you also mentioned your wheels and tires. You're running HREs. What are the specs on the wheels and tires? They are 20s all the way around. The rear's a little bit wider. I'm running these uh, Conti Extremes. Uh, they definitely hook up. I love these tires. And they are 315s, so we got plenty of meat under the back end of this car. And I needed to add a little more rubber and contact patch. And uh, once again, we'll kind of show you why here in a minute. All right, Jake, give the viewers what they want. What are you running in this beast? <laughs> So earlier I mentioned that uh, there was some custom work done on the shaker and uh, if you know anything about the shakers, the shaker actually mounts directly to the top of the engine under the hood and then there's an opening with a trim piece and when you close the, the hood, the shaker pops out. We had to do some modifications because under the hood is a Kenny Bell Mammoth. Uh, this was installed and tuned by MPR Motorsports down in Elsinore. Uh, Lonnie does absolutely amazing work down there. If you have a Mopar and you want some stuff done uh, from mild tunes to radical builds, uh, man, this is the guy. You wanna go check him out if you're in the area. Man, it is beautiful. That right there, guys, is a work of art. But additionally, that thing makes <laughs> ridiculous power so um see we got to show rt guys love too you know what i mean this this is in fact an rt yep. um, so uh it is it is very detuned right now it's a completely stock bottom end so we're, we're not quite at 500 horsepower to the wheel um, but it feels amazing and it sounds better so the next mod on this i'm going to get with lonnie and we're going to go e85 so we're hoping to get just over 600 horsepower to the wheel uh, with no internal modifications and i know that if we went that route uh, we could put a whole lot more down but that's that's a whole nother level right there that is so dope all right jake and i know you have a really crazy trunk setup so why don't you go ahead and show the viewers yeah so this i just got this done uh within the last few weeks and um audio extreme trey gallagher down at audio extreme in san Bernardino knocked it out of the park so let me go ahead and show you what's in here because i am super pumped about it So tying into my business, I run a detail garage, which is the Chemical Guys store. And uh, we went ahead and tied this in. Uh, we have our custom logo down here in the floor of the trunk, which is the skull and cross pistons, uh, which is the little logo that again, my um, our graphic designer at Inland Wraps went ahead and custom made for us and this project. So we included that etched down into the floorboard here. Um, and that's also uh, lit up by some lighting trends. Lighting trends is one of the sponsors for the cars. And these are lighting trends lights in here with the controllers and they came out awesome. I'm a assuming it's all Bluetooth controlled, like you can control through yeah. your phone and things of that nature? So I do have, I can pull my phone out, change the colors, change the pace, change the, the brightness and everything else. Anybody who has these kids kind of knows how that works, uh, but it's really neat to be able to grab my phone and just control this thing remotely all the time. We also, uh, one of the things that, that kind of, I don't want to say it bugged me, but anytime you, you go and check out somebody else's vehicle and they pop the trunk uh, and they've got their radio on, all you hear is bass. So one of the things I worked with with Troy at Audio Extreme was down here, you may not be able to see it very well, but there's some screens down there and there's some co component speakers down in there. So when you pop the trunk here in, the, in this ride and you're playing the music, you have full range music coming out of the trunk, which I really enjoy. So 
Guys, I'm not gonna do it right now. He played it for me earlier and it's, it's amazing. Um, outside and inside sounds absolutely incredible and it sounds clean. Um, a lot of times at car shows, you'll have people playing their, their music emanating outside the vehicle and it just sounds like crap, you know? So it, it, this sounds really clean, so. Job well done, Jake. Yeah, this is a uh, job well done to Troy, man. Uh, Audio Extreme, they do some really high-end stuff. They've been doing this for a long time and they do amazing work. All right, guys. So just like Jake said, this is an amazing build, but it's far from over. He's still got plenty more crazy mods. I will put his Instagram in the description so that way you guys can give his build a follow. But Jake, I really want to just say thank you for bringing oh. your car out and showing us. Dude, for you always, you know. <laughs>